To embrace or to deny, the choice is yours, but for every choice, there's an eternal consequence. This is Glam Anivers, bringing you the best of both worlds, Glam and the Bible. Today's verse is from the book of Mark, chapter 8, verse 38. I read from New King James Version. For whosoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man also will be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. The choice is yours. There are two choices. Do you embrace the gift of God? Do you embrace the name of God? Or do you deny? Let's delve into it. This is a call to declare your allegiance with Christ very boldly, very radically, irrespective of the opposition, of the persecution that the world can throw at you irrespective of the darkness of the world as a child of god you should be able to boldly stand with christ you should be able to boldly identify with christ because he is our father he is our savior is our all in all the decision to deny or confess christ has a reciprocal effect from jesus himself is a do me i do you kind of situation if you accept and proclaim god boldly Jesus too also, he will accept and proclaim you boldly when you get to judgment day. You say, oh, I know this girl. She was really doing things for me. She was speaking my name so boldly. I'm so proud of her. Father, this girl is one of us, right? That's the standpoint of Jesus. If you embrace his name, if you embrace his word, if you embrace his ways. But the other side like it is if you deny, if you don't identify with the gospel of christ if you don't believe in the gospel of christ and you're like oh or even if you believe and you are not believing boldly your belief is only in your room when you're outside you're a different thing so when you've denied christ now you've denied the faith and when you get to judgment day jesus will be like who are you i don't think we know each other get deep behind me for I know you not. I pray that that would never speak to any one of us in Jesus' name. So please, declare your allegiance with Christ boldly. Let everybody be able to hear everything that has ears. Let it be able to hear and know that you identify with Christ. The verses before this verse talk about, you know, carrying your cross, denying yourself and following Christ, which I have talked about in a separate video. I'm going to put the link in the description box. So what led up to this denying or not denying? What you should actually be denying is what? Yourself. What you should actually be denying is your flesh and not Christ. So the verses before, it has already laid down the precedence that, okay, well, if you want to be a true follower of Christ, you know, you have to deny yourself, carry your cross and follow Christ. Then in verse 38, it says, those that deny me, I will deny them too. Right? So, what should we be denying? Ourselves deny your fleshly desires deny your lustful thoughts deny the ways of the world deny what your what your evil heart wants to do that's what you should be denying you should be denying yourself and not jesus christ when you identify with christ it is not just a mouth confession it is not just saying with your mouth that you identify with christ but living radically according to that proclamation that you have made by the words of your mouth and by your actions by your lifestyle by your heart posture you know Human beings are looking at the physical, but God is looking at the heart. So, with the heart posture of full devotion to God, of identifying with God, not just doing it with your mind, not just doing it physically, not just doing it in the church that you go to or in your closed doors, but doing it every aspect of your life, physically, spiritually, soul, mind, and body, you are totally committed to Christ and you fully identify with Him. That is what, that is what it means to identify with Christ. To be ashamed of Christ or to be ashamed of the gospel, doesn't necessarily mean embarrassment it can be that you are embarrassed but it can also be those that truly believe but they are shy or they are they don't want to talk about it or they are you know not everybody has to know that i'm following jesus it's only god that knows who is serving him let me just serve him in my heart let everybody be doing their own i don't have to do anything that is also a form of denial because if you truly truly live for god if you truly truly surrender and embrace and identify with christ 
the spirit of God that lives in, within you would not allow you to conceal it, you know. You would just want to shout it on the rooftop that yes, Christ is my savior and I owe him my life and I worship him, I dedicate my everything to him. So worshiping Christ is not something that you should do only behind closed doors. You should do it both behind closed doors and in the public, right? Being ashamed of the gospel, denying the gospel can look like conforming to secular standards, conforming to the ways of the world. It can look like not sharing your faith. It can look like gatekeeping the gospel, which I have also talked about. I will also put that link in the description box. Gatekeeping the gospel can also be a form of denial, like denying Christ and his words. Denying God and his words can also look like choosing comfort over obedience. Not everything that God is going to ask you to do will be comfortable. Not everything will be so nice and cozy. Not everything you would want to do, but you have to obey first before you complain. But once you choose comfort over obedience to God, you are denying God and his word. You are denying the faith. Denying the faith can also look like seeking approval of men over the approval of God. If you care more about what people say and you neglect what God is saying, my darling, you are denying God. You are denying the faith. You are denying Jesus Christ because Christ should be the number one authority in your life. And the only approval you should care about is the approval from God. If God approves of you and men don't, my dear, that's the best kind of life to live with. But if men approve of you and God does not even know you, are you serious? What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul? What shall be the exchange? So the approval of God is more important than the approval of men. So these are the things that look like, like what denying Christ and his words can look like. The consequence of being ashamed of Jesus and his words is that he also in turn will be ashamed of you i've said it before it's a do me i do you kind of situation whatever you do you shall receive whatever you reap you shall sow you cannot reap you cannot sow sorry you cannot sow yam and reap maize you definitely collect your yam back so if you are ashamed of christ and the gospel if you are denying christ and the gospel why would christ accept you it's not adding up. The math is not matching. So, deny Christ, he denies you. Follow Christ, boldly identify with Christ, and he will boldly identify with you. It is a reciprocal, you know, give and take relationship, right? Yeah. In this verse, our present world is described as adulterous and sinful, which promotes, which promotes self-interest and moral compromise, but as children of God, we should live boldly in our convictions and faith in Jesus. Embrace your identity in Christ and spread Christ's love to all around you. Embracing your identity in Christ, being secure in God. It's part of the thing that I talked about last week, like being secure in God, finding your secret. If you are secure in God, you won't be shy to identify with Him. If you are confident in the God that you serve, you won't be embarrassed to talk about him so all this goes down to knowing the god that you serve and being secure in who you are in christ who christ says you are you know and spreading spreading the love of christ to all those around you says let your light so shine forth before men that they may glorify your father in heaven that is what we should be doing as children of god so my dear brothers and sisters i urge you to make the conscious decision to follow christ intentionally and boldly and radically identify with christ and i promise you that your life will be better for it one with god is majority what did i say one with god is majority so <clears throat> just like peter did don't do like peter peter denied the faith three times but lucky for peter jesus already prayed for him and the same peter that denied the faith three times he became the rock on which the church was built. He says the rock. Jesus asked Peter to feed his flock. So now that same transformative power of Christ and Jesus and the Holy Spirit is still very much at play. So leave your past behind you. No matter what you have done, if you have denied the faith before, this is not a condemnation video that ah, if you have denied the faith, your own has spoiled, it has destroyed for you. No, this is just a call to rededication, a, a call to reconfirmation that to re align yourself to identify with christ remember who you are in christ jesus and stand boldly for christ take ground for christ child of god 
and your life would be better for it. I pray that the grace and power to do this, to not deny the faith, to not deny Christ, so that you also will not deny us in the end, that God will give unto us, that our homes and heaven, our mansions in heaven will not be empty because we deny the faith. God forbid. God will help us all to do the right thing in Jesus' name. This brings me to a close. Thank you for watching till the end. You know the drill, same place, same time next week. I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Bye.